Reckend has been awarded by ExxonMobil for EPCI projects for offshore pipeline with 20-inch diameter with a length of 23 kilometers and mooring tower with a total weight of 5,000 tons. This tower yoke mooring system project is the first in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Reckend has proven to be a pioneer in offshore EPC technology in this region. Mooring tower, in addition to moor the floating facility, it is also simultaneously delivering the crude oil from the processing facility at onshore to the FSO through a subsea pipeline. Mooring tower with an overall height of 84 meters from the seabed, installed in the Tuban offshore. This facility will complement the crude oil production field in Banyu Urip, Bojo Nagoro. Mooring tower is made in four modules. One, pile and jacket. Two, top side. Three, yoke. Four, MSS, mooring support structure. Mooring tower project was started with project initiation. Finalization of the Project Execution Plan, PEP, and the Engineering Phase. Engineering Phase begins with sending Reckins engineers from multidisciplinary to the technology provider in Houston, United States, to produce the optimal design. The next phase of detailed design is done in Indonesia by the Reckens engineers, utilizing the state-of-the-art design software including PDMS for 3D modeling. Construction phase begins from the manufacturing processes that are carried out in fabrication yard. The process is to build the structure of mooring tower in four parts. The whole process of construction work is performed by domestic skilled workers. Then, the parts of mooring tower completed in fabrication yard will be shipped to Tuban offshore. This is a loadout process and shipment of the modules of mooring tower that will be installed at site. The offshore transportation is done with carefully planning and engineering with regard to weather conditions, wave heights, as well as stability analysis. Shipments is done through the underwriting procedures of the competent authorities and approval. Offshore transportation route is as far as 690 kilometers, 432 nautical miles, was done in four days to the installation site located in Tuban offshore, East Java. Prior to installation, seabed conditions were observed. This is underwater survey using ROV. 
This is a jacket structure that will be settled down to the seabed. This structure is designed with four main column and eight skirt pile, standing up to 40 meters and weighs up to 1,240 tons. 3,000 tons derrick barge is used for installation. Next is the eight piles installation, designed to be penetrated up to 55 meters from the seabed and the installation is utilizing underwater hydraulic hammer with capacity of 800 ton. During the piling process, leveling survey is carried out on a regular basis to ensure that the structure remains level. Subsea spool installations preparation begins by subsea metrology of the end of the subsea pipeline to the bottom of the riser pipe. Furthermore, subsea spool was fabricated accurately and installed. This is the top side module weighs up to 1,000 tons, is the upper structure of the tower, and then the riser on the jacket is connected to the piping system in the top side. And the next is installation of the yoke arm as the connecting structure between mooring tower and FSO. At this stage, the installation of jumper hose and bridle cable as the component that will deliver the products, utilities, as well as the electrical and control system between mooring tower and FSO was carried out. FSO then positioned closer to mooring tower by synergize a couple of tugboats and mooring lines in order to obtain an optimal position to establish the mechanical system connection to link arm with the clevis on the yoke. Reckend has proved to the world for their capability and competency in offshore construction projects by successfully completing the world-class projects, offshore pipeline and mooring tower.